everyone, my name is Bridget and welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are finally doing something that you guys have been waiting on for so very long. I have probably been talking about this for months and months and months. I've mentioned it in videos, I've mentioned it on social media, and today we are finally doing it. Today's video is a reptile room tour. The reason I've put this off, and I think a lot of you reptile keepers can probably relate to this, is because this room is forever changing. There's always something going on in here, whether I'm moving enclosures around or I'm upgrading enclosures or I'm getting new animals to put in here. So now, even though, believe it or not, there are going to be other changes made within the next few months, I thought I would go ahead and do a reptile room tour as it is right now and then I can update you guys later. It was previously my husband's like man cave, but <laughs> he gave it to me. We cleaned it out. We totally redid it. We painted the walls and everything and now it's my reptile room. This has definitely been a huge dream of mine, so it's amazing that it's actually here and has happened and I get to spend so much time in here every day. So I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna go ahead and do it. I'm super duper excited. I hope that you guys enjoy my reptile room tour. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and let's get into today's video. Okay, so this right here is the entryway. This is connected to my kitchen. It's public, but it's also closed in and I didn't want just anyone to be able to get in so we have a screen door here. It's not a full screen door as you can see but it is a half screen door that's tall enough to where any kids that come over can't open the door by themselves. The latch to the screen door is actually on the inside so you have to reach over to be able to open it. So here's the door we just walked through. That's my kitchen and my hallway. So when you walk in this is what you're going to see. So just like before, that is the door we came in and this is the wall to the left. This is the wall straight forward. This is the wall to the right. And finally, this is the wall to the back that's next to my kitchen. Right when you walk in, there's this little section here that's like a storage kind of section. First of all, I have this space heater. That's for the winter time. This tub right here is my dirty substrate tub. It's what I take with me when I clean enclosures. It's just a standard cheap black trash can. It has a dustpan in there and that's what I scoop all of the dirty substrate into and then I go once it's full and dump it out in the back of the pasture. This right here is an enclosure that I purchased that actually came to me broken. If you follow me on social media, you will have seen the broken craziness of this enclosure, but we have since cleaned off all the broken glass. We've gotten a new background. There's new doors and we have a glass on the way that we are going to put on the sides and fix it. There's a video on that coming soon. Not up yet. I'll let you guys know when it comes out. Then on this side of the room, we have one of our rack systems. I'm not going to show you every single enclosure, but I'll just tell you like who is who basically. So starting at the bottom, this is Sally, our mosaic California king snake. Next to her is Putty, our chubby frog. Putty's thermometer here is reading Celsius instead of Fahrenheit. That confuses me. Over here above Sally, we have Bruce, our Bolivian short-tailed boa constrictor. He's a juvenile, so he's in this small enclosure for now. Next to him, this is just an empty enclosure that I got for cheap off of Facebook, and it's full of a bunch of decorations on the inside. Doesn't have an animal in it yet, but it does have a plan. I didn't have anywhere to put this enclosure, so it is on this shelf right now. Right up above Bruce, we have the leopard geckos. This enclosure belongs to Twigs and this enclosure belongs to Branch. Up above this rack system is just kind of storage and extra light back there. There's a box of bulbs behind that and then just decoration pieces up here. A lot of hides and stuff. Also, just in case anyone is wondering, that thermostat up there on the top of the shelf controls Twigs and Branch. This thermostat over here that's on top of Bruce's enclosure uh, obviously controls him. There in the back, that's Bruce over there to the left and then that random empty enclosure over here to the right, that is Sally thermostat. This little random thing that you see here, that is an indoor thermometer. Those numbers down here in the bottom is what it is currently in the room. And then this is the outdoor version of it, which you can see up here on the top. That is what it would be considered outside. So since they're like right next to each other and I have no use for them just at the moment, they are reading the same. Moving on to the side of that rack system is one of my aquariums, as well as my like random goodie shelves. <laughs> I don't really know what to call them. They're just full of some stuff that I really like. So on 
the bottom here is my shop vac. I cannot live without this thing. This is a staple in this room. Up above that is Jenny's aquarium. This is the Fluval Spec V. And Jenny is my brand new female betta fish. And then these shelves, they're super random. So on this first one, it's just a picture of me and my husband, some sheds. If you guys remember, there's my little shell of blue, my mystery snail that passed away. Love it so much. These little things were made by my niece. That one right there is Sydney. That is Cornelius. And then that was blue. This shelf up here just has some more fake succulents, some shed skin from Phoebe, some of the kids first sheds. I couldn't bear to get rid of their first shed here. So there they are. There's Bruce's first shed here. This little rock, it's a candle holder, but I'm going to get an air plant to go in there. And then up on the very top, it's very hard to reach. That is a photo of my husband and I at the Nashville Bridge Caverns in San Antonio, Texas. Rock that we found in our backyard. That is an hourglass. That's a magnet hourglass. A couple of Harry Potter figurines. Harry and Hedwig. This like random pineapple that I won. First try with like the claw machine. And then some more Harry Potter goodies. A couple of wands and a golden snitch. Over here in this back corner, this is actually a door to my front yard, but it is not our main door. We don't use it for anything other than basically just kind of hanging out and like another emergency exit. So no one is in and out of this room through this door all the time. It stays closed. Over here to the left, I have my mini fridge, uh, a bucket of river rocks, some random things that I forgot to move. I got my fire extinguisher back here and then my bulletin board of my schedule. Here's my freezer for anyone wondering. It is full of fish food and rodents per usual. And then my mini fridge just has insects, liquid calcium, greens, veggies, water crystals, all that jazz. And then of course we have a trash can. Next up we have the back wall that you see when you first walk in. I've got a couch. This is where I hang out, nap sometimes if I want to. I film some videos up here. This table right here is super cute. I fell in love with it at Target and I had to have it so we bought it. I've got an aloe plant sitting in the center of it. This right here is my main storage cabinet. On the very front of it is just a succulent calendar of the year 2019. All the highlighted pieces are birthdays of the animals. So just an overview of my storage cabinet. There on the bottom is just basically like insect supplies. This section here has all of my trash bags, my baby wipes for easy cleanup, my gloves, and my paper towels. This shelf right here is all of my fish supplies, my water change bucket, all of my chemicals and everything that goes in there, an extra heater, an extra light, aquarium salt. In here is the basket that I keep all of my like uh, vitamins and minerals and stuff. It's also got like Repta Safe and some water crystals, extra tongs, all that jazz. Back in the back is an extra thing of hand sanitizer, my F10 concentrate, a water bottle, and my F10 solution. And then here, this is Cheeks' seed mix and then some ground up bee pollen. And then on this top shelf here is just a bunch of heat bulbs, timers, LED lights, and that is my storage cabinet. Over here in this corner next to my couch is Smeagol's enclosure. This is my crested gecko. There is my camera tripod right there. Smeagol's food and stuff and all his food cups and things. There is another like mini fridge that travels. You can take it in the car with you if you want. So it's just there for now. And then I've got like topsoil and terracotta pots and things like that. And then of course my Mr. Bottle. And on that note, we will move over to the wall to the right. So first off, I just have this like random metal table that I found and it's holding some plants for me right now. This plant right here and this plant right here are actually gonna hang in my kitchen. And then I've got this random pothos back there that I'm trying to grow up some more. I had the blinds open for sunshine, but I closed them for the video because that is my front yard and <laughs> I wanna keep things private. Then we have this big white shelf in the center. Starting from the top, I just have a couple of tubs that hold my forest floor substrate. As you can see, they are pretty empty right now because I need to order some more. This top shelf right here is pretty random. It just has like, just like camera stuff. Here's a couple of tubs just because and towels. Can never have enough towels in here. Most of mine are dirty right now, which is why I only have two. <laughs> but usually there's like a whole pile. And this is my spring water reservoir. So whenever I do like water bowl cleanings and stuff and I refill their bowls, I like to use this because it's easier. I'm not having to pour anything and make a mess. I just use the spout and it goes a lot quicker. Moving down to this shelf right here. This was Button's enclosure, but he has passed away. So it is empty right now. I have a plan for it. I'm pretty sure what I put in that is gonna stay on this shelf. I hung this random vine up there just to make it look cute. It's falling down, so it doesn't look cute right now, but I'll fix it later. These 
these are my status notebooks. So this is where I keep records of everyone. Here in the front are a couple of figurines that Miss It's Anna Louise has made for me. We have Jack, my gray banded king snake bear with some succulents. And then we have Sally, my mosaic California king snake with some roses. I wanted Jack because he's super unique. And then once we got Sally, I was like, well, look, I can't have my Jack without my Sally. So now we have both. This drawer right here is just full of all our supplies for like heat tape and stuff. We've got scissors, we've got tape, aluminum foil tape, batteries for all the thermometers and everything. Just a bunch of like random tool type stuff. And then on the bottom of that, I have all of my feeder insects. So I've got like crickets, dubia roaches, superworms, mealworms, superworm pupa. We've got some hornworms right there. And then on the bottom shelf, that is where I'm doing my breeding projects. So I'm breeding mealworms and I'm breeding superworms. That is my step stool that I cannot live without because I am average height, but I'm still not tall enough for some of these things that I have to get above. Next to that shelf, we have my mystery snail tank. You guys have seen this a bunch, of course. Uh, that is a pool noodle. I have plans for that and a frog tank, so just ignore that right now. <laughs> but anyways, this is my mystery snail tank, and it is sitting on top of this storage cabinet that has all of my like fish supplies, my testing things, food and like clips and stuff. And then down there is a bunch of extra decorations and food and water bowls and stuff. And then over here to the right, we just have this fake tree. I have no idea what kind of tree it is, but I like it and I wanted it, so I bought it and it looks good in here. So then finally, we will do this back wall that is next to my kitchen again. Starting over here in the corner, we have our second racking system. We'll go ahead and start on the top here. So over here to the left are just extra tubs that we have for any quarantine purposes, traveling purposes, uh, like vet visits and stuff. They're all ventilated. They're all different sizes. I have this big one here for the big animals. There's a medium one there in the back and then a smaller one up here in the front. Next to it, we have some Eco Earth, of course, and then these three tubs are live oak leaf litter, the bigger leaf litter, like my magnolia leaves and my grape leaves, and then back behind that is all of my sphagnum moss. And then these tubs up here, we've got two tubs of Eco Earth because I go through it so much, and then this tub is full of aspen. Moving down below that, we have Grendel, my western hognose snake, Cornelius, my corn snake, Cheeks, my Euromastix, down below Cheeks, we have Jack, my gray banded king snake, and next to him is Janice, my western hognose snake. Up here on the rack as well, next to Cornelius's enclosure, I have my little dusting shakers of my vitamins. These are like confectioner sugar dusters or like sifters, whatever you wanna call them. I cannot live without these things and I have them all separated to where this is calcium with D3, plain calcium, plain multivitamin, and then multivitamin with vitamin D3. And then those cups back there belong to twigs and branch. Over to the right of the rack, we have this section right here, which is the last part of the room. So starting on the top here, we have Indy, my ball python. This enclosure here is Phoebe's, my bearded dragon. You can see her there looking real crazy. And then below Phoebe on this little pullout trolley, because we wanted to utilize the space under this table, is Ollie, my other ball python. Over here on this shelf, this top one here is what's controlling Ollie. And then this Herbstat 4 down here controls Grendel, Cornelius, Janice, and Indy. And then Jack's thermostat is right next to him. And then that is it. We have made it all the way back around. One other thing that I wanted to mention that I do in this room that is so silly, I know, but it is part of my overall theme. Everyone has name tags and each of these name tags is a different succulent. It has their first and their middle name, their morph type and species, and their birth date.
gonna be it for my video today, giving you a tour of my reptile room as it currently is. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy this video, please give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on your way out. I really appreciate it. Also hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload next and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.